Gabriel operates a riverboat and frequently offers tours of the river. Typically, a tour lasts for 3.25 hours. The riverboat usually takes 2 hours to make the 25-mile trip upstream from the dock and 1.25 hours to make the 25-mile return trip downstream. Gabriel is considering offering a shorter tour that will last 2.5 hours and travel only 20 miles upstream before returning. Will the shorter tour be possible if the riverboat travels at the same speed as it does in the 3.25 hour tour? So in order to answer this question, we need to know what is the total amount of time required for the shorter tour. So from previous questions, let's look at the time for upstream in the new tour first. So upstream, we know that the equation that will help us find the time that it will take to go upstream for the new tour is going to be 12.5 equals 20 over t. So to solve for t, we'll multiply both sides by t. So 12.5t will equal 20. And we'll divide each side by 12.5 to get that the time it takes to travel upstream is going to be 1.6 hours. Now downstream from a previous question, we know the equation to help us find the time is going to be 20 equals 20 divided by t. So if we solve for t, we'll multiply both sides by t. So 20t equals 20. And we'll divide both sides by 20 to get that t equals 1. So t equals 1 hour. So it takes 1.6 hours to go upstream and 1 hour to go downstream. So the total would be to add the two, so 1.6 plus 1 would be a total of 2.6 hours for the shorter tour, which is answer choice D.